Hey Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. In today's reading, um, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you right now. It is going to be a love message and it's a general one, so please just keep that in mind. If you're interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Your email address is going to be listed below the video. energies you guys at the bottom of the deck is the lover's card can you spot the reoccurring theme of threes you have the three of swords the uh, three of chalices being lifted into the air the eight of cups has those top three chalices and the lover's card we've got a bit of a triangle happening here um three characters being depicted so um, a strong reoccurring theme You might even um, you might even come across maybe you've been coming across lately uh, like you're seeing things happening in three like you're sp you're spotting I don't know um, maybe you're spotting like three butterflies uh, all at once or just like this constant grouping of three of some things I also feel like there's something happening for you here in a matter of it could be like three days, three weeks, or three months from this reading. It might even be three years, hopefully not as long as that, fingers crossed. But I feel like uh, there's definitely a significance here with the number three. Three is a very, it's a positive number. It carries an energy of creativity, an energy of uh, self-expression, communication, and optimism. Like positivity, optimism, growth. Uh, I feel like this number is particularly impactful and influential on your energy right now, on your life, and anything that you're doing right now. Like if you're working on certain projects, um, if you've had certain ideas, um, if you've recently connected or reconnected with certain people, certain individuals, I feel like there's definitely a positive energy towards this person or towards this quest this journey you're on or towards you know this new chapter whatever it is that you find yourself in um the lover's card is the overall energy that crowns your reading and this is an energy of this is an energy that signifies a very intense bond between you and someone or you and something um this of course is a soulmate energy it's it's love it's uh romance but it's also an energy of choices choices partnerships uh unions i feel like you're bringing a lot of balance and i think that you're bringing harmony into your life right now um, into your life and into your relationships you may be to the person that i'm speaking to you might be a little bit uncertain about what direction to go in or what direction to take things in whether to take a relationship in a friendship in or whatever it is that you're working on um, you might be faced with a dilemma 
okay maybe you might have to make you might have to choose between two or three um people or scenarios or situations when the lover when the lover's card appears in your life it's an indication that you have to make a choice you have to make a choice and you have to make a decision there's some sort of important choice or decision that you're faced with but i feel like being the water sign that you are maybe you've been procrastinating maybe you've sort of been stagnating that decision that choice because you're uh you're hesitant you're reluctant to make that decision um even if it feels like it's a difficult decision or even if it feels like it's going to uh, lead you down an uncertain path, understand that it's going to take you to greater things. So if, especially if you're right now forced between having to choose between something or if you're forced to make a decision, if you're sort of backed into this you know emotional corner where you have to make a decision of some sort don't just try and take the easy way out of the situation or this relationship or whatever this is you're probably tempted to right because it's the easy way out um but don't just naturally just go for the easy road make sure you have weighed everything up okay make sure you've really looked at things not just from an emotional standpoint because you guys are quite emotional beings but make sure you looked at things from a logical standpoint as well because i feel like there's some sort of choice or decision that you're reluctant to make but it's going to lead to greater things you're delaying it because i get it it's uncertain it's scary it's not guaranteed you haven't been there before um it might mean there's difficulties financial difficulties or whatever difficulties but understand that where you are right now especially in this energy where you are being tasked with making a choice or a decision of some sort it's because the universe is trying to put you on the path on the right path on the path that you're meant to be on on the path that you're meant to you know you're in alignment with it could be on the path to a new and loving relationship it could be on the path to chasing and pursuing your dream it could be on that spiritual path that you you know you were always meant to that you were always destined for I feel like there's a beautiful connection that you can only that you've only dreamed about there's a beautiful connection that like poets and authors write about and this is destined in the cards for you this could be a connection with someone whom you've recently met or this could be a connection with someone who you're going to meet later down the road however I feel like to get to this person or to get to this connection it feels like with the eight of cups energy you have to walk away from some things you have to walk away from things that no longer serve you things that don't bring happiness uh things that aren't in alignment with you relationships that have expired that have flatlined uh things that take up your time take up your energy but don't like take away from your happiness rather than contribute to it because when you do that when you walk away from something you're essentially then creating space and creating room in your life for something new for something more and i think for some of you this is the difficult choice or decision that you're faced with walking away from someone that you still love or maybe someone that is tied to you energetically and emotionally feels like they have to walk away from you or they've walked away from you even though you're someone that they still love um i'm getting a message too you, you have to love yourself and keep yourself happy keep yourself safe even if it means you walking away from someone or something that you still love but it's not because whatever this is this relationship or this person doesn't give you that energy of happiness it doesn't give you that energy of safety some of you knowing when to walk away i get it, it it's especially knowing when to walk away from an unrequited love or from a love that has expired um 
there's something here that hasn't fulfilled your expectations there's, there's some there's a relationship or a connection or a friendship um it feels like it's either ex it's unrequited or it feels like it's expired it feels like it's flatlined or it just feels like it's just a, it's been a slippery slope it's a love that has been hurtful it's a love that has been painful and regardless of any protective barriers that you have built up around you and this person it just feels like this person still somehow has managed to get close to you close enough to hurt you close enough to you know to, to betray you um it just feels like you've loved someone and this has turned out to be honestly it's turned out to be a beautiful disaster can i say that that's kind of what it feels like um I think you've given your heart to someone who has been capable of breaking it, who has been capable of betraying it, who has been capable of bruising it. And at this point, it feels like it's kind of too late. Like this person has hurt you. This person has betrayed you. Um, Your perception of this person and of the situation is very different. Either this person um, was masquerading, you know, pretending to be, maybe they were an enemy masquerading as a lover. Maybe they, you know, were a casual or a part-time lover masquerading themselves as a full-time lover. It just feels like your perception of who they were or who you thought they were or you know what you thought this could be turned out to be very very different than what it is if you are in a stage where you are questioning your love for someone or you're questioning their love for you or you're questioning your relationship understand that that's a bit of a red flag in itself Because if you were happy and if you didn't have these doubts, you wouldn't have to question your love at all or you wouldn't have to question this person at all. You wouldn't have to question, you know, their feelings for you at all. So the fact that you, the fact that there's this connection that, you know, be it a friendship or a romantic love, it feels unbalanced. And this is where I think the energy of three comes into play as well. Like one person is hurting the other. And the question is, how much is enough? How many times is your heart supposed to break? How many pieces is your heart supposed to break into before you allow yourself to walk away? Before you accept the fact that this love isn't healthy? You know, this love is, or this potentially isn't love. Um, I think... To the person that I'm speaking to, I think you have subconsciously chose this person who you knew would be a challenge or you subconsciously chose this relationship or this situation, even though you knew it would be a challenge. But right now, it feels like your energy is no longer interested in this challenge. Your energy is no longer interested in this, in trying to you know, pick up the pieces back off the floor. Your energy is no longer interested in a situation where you know it's unbalanced or it's unloved or you f a situation that feels unsteady. Something about this time being the last time and something about you finally walking away. You finally saying enough is enough um, and you're walking away. Whether it's from a friendship or relationship or a situation or a job or career, whatever it is. I think right now you're promising that this was the last time or this was the last straw. And I think that with this heartbreak, with this heartbreak, with this situation, with this betrayal, I think you have learned the lesson. Like there's, there was an opportunity to learn the lesson. And I think you have lived your truth openly. And I think you have experienced, you have experienced love or you have experienced friendship. 
and you have trust in the process and you fell in love and you watched this connection or this friendship or whatever this is grow and you watched it change and sadly and unfortunately you also watched it fall apart and maybe you still feel the pain and maybe you, you will still continue to feel the pain but your heart is going to recover from it you are going to heal from it perhaps you are already healing from it um the healing is a very slow process and i think that it was necessary to hurt to have learned what you have learned does that make sense i know it probably sounds a certain way but to have learned what you have learned the lessons you have learned to have shown a light on the people that have betrayed you on their actions and how their actions weren't who they said they were so to have learned everything that you have learned in the past it was necessary for you to have had this experience and to have hurt um, and right now i think that you're pulling your energy inwards i feel like right now you are focused on the type of love you're focused on giving yourself the type of love that you know you deserve i feel like you're i feel like you're entering this place where you're enjoying some good times with people with the friends and the people that you're connected to and i think that you're staying out of the future and and you're being more in the present i'm also seeing that you're I feel like you're protecting your heart and you're protecting your energy, okay? Even though you might not be in a relationship or even though there's no you there's no actual threat to your heart breaking right now, but I think that you know that you deserve love and you deserve respect and you deserve uh kindness. Um And I think that you know that something key has crumbled for you whether it's a relationship or a friendship and you know and you're just letting it be you're no longer trying to put the pieces back together i feel like you know that you cannot continue like for some of you i think you're taking the time to be intentionally single right now because you know that you can't continue to give to another person when you can't give that love to yourself right when you can't give that time and energy to yourself you know when you're not your best self or when you're broken or when you feel like you have no energy left you can't share with others uh, so you're really focusing on yourself something about your energy and your perception shifting as well and i think that you're finally understanding after what feels like a very um a very challenging lesson you're finally understanding that it's okay to walk away from something that hurts you it doesn't require blame it doesn't require justification it just means that you need to walk away to stop fanning those flames and here you are you have walked away or you are walking away from a situation or relationship because you know that you know you're going to love better or you know that you're going to put yourself in a better situation all right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye for now.